Hello everybody, this is Shepard256 back with another video. So today, we, well, I am going to be showing you my Ultimate Team lineup. Now, I just recorded the video, well, the day before yesterday, um, I just recorded the video of me and Austin opening the Ultimate Pack bundle. Now they have all Madden packs out, but I'm not going to be buying those. I've never really bought any promotional bundles other than the, um, I've bought some legend packs before but never a bundle and yeah I guess the ultimate pack the ultimate pack was bundle was the only um um promotional bundle I've ever opened so yeah that was actually really fun I ended up making about two hundred and fifty sixty K off of it which I do not recommend anybody doing that because that pays for just fifty that pays for over, just over one um, coin price of an ultimate pack, so definitely don't recommend anybody doing that. I was just doing it because it's my first Mutt video, and I wanted to do something special, but we're going to be showing you my lineup today. 86 overall, but um, I could easily get it to an 88, because, see, I got Jason Peters at left guard because of the speed. And it's been proven that awareness, which is the only thing that drops, doesn't really matter that much for offensive linemen. Like, it barely matters at all. And if I put, if I put Matt Sloss in here, it goes up to an 87. So, I'm at least an 87 right now. Jason Peters. Yeah, so I'm at least an 87 overall. And... I could get it at 88 if I get a better quarterback, but Vic is, other than the Antonio Brown, the fastest quarterback in the I mean, so my team is, uh, I guess, an 87, even though it says 86, and I could get it to an 88 if I wanted to, so, yeah, but I'll show you my line real, real quick, um, we got Andrew Whitworth, a left tackle. Um, I bought him when he was going for just over 20k, and now he's, I think, up to 35k. But don't plan on selling him anytime soon. He um, does awesome. He never gives up blocks. I would definitely recommend picking him up. 96 pass block, 90. I mean, 96 run block, 92 pass block, 90 impact block, and 96 strength, 92 awareness. Now I've heard that these stats down here don't necessarily matter for offensive oh I just went past it for offensive linemen but he has 99 pass block strength and 98 pass block footwork so if it does matter then that's definitely awesome there <clears throat> and then left tackle Jason Peters another one of the cheapest football outsider elites 94 strength 70 speed which of course I love having speed at guards for pulling plays he also has like I said, <clears throat> um, 78 acceleration, which is pretty solid, 94 run block, 90 pass block, 94 strength, and 85 impact block. And then the next, well, I'll get to that in a second, really don't want too much out of a center. And Manram definitely does the job. Because the main stats I actually look for in centers is strength and run block. And he has 93 strength and 90 run block, so... And 85 pass blocking, and 81 impact blocking, which both aren't too bad. So. Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe trying to pick up a Travis Frederick or something because of the awesome run blocking he always has. Yeah, but then this is the um, position on my offensive line. I'm trying to upgrade Larry Warford, even though, yeah, he has good um, pass block and solid run block. His pass block is really good, though. I just need somebody for a guard who has better speed, acceleration, agility, um, run block, and impact blocking. So, yeah, he's my next upgrade as far as the line goes. Phil Old Holt, I don't really know when I'm going to get rid of him. It's not going to be anytime soon. 98 run block, 91 pass block, 97 strength. It's that simple. And then tight end. This is somewhere where I want to upgrade, but at the same time, I don't. Because 
this, he's not fair. Dave Casper isn't fair. He never drops anything. And he never really gives up any blocks, too, when you think he would with the bad run blocking. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend somebody to pick him up, because he only goes for, like, 30k or something. It's crazy. Definitely pick him up if you get the chance to. Then, Dwayne Allen. I don't know why everybody doesn't have Dwayne Allen. His speed isn't good, but 86 run block and 89 catching. 80 catching traffic, and he's 6'3". I think everybody should have Dwayne Allen on their team, just to be honest. And then Luke Wilson, um, one of my favorite receiving tight ends. He just came out. Um, it's a week 16 player of the week. 92 speed, 91 catching. I think he has 85 catching traffic. Yeah, and 93 spectacular catch. So he's definitely a really good receiving. Um, tight end and he is extremely dangerous in the red zone because he's also six foot five But what I'm going to try and to do if I do end up upgrading Dave Casper is I'm um, planning on getting the um, the What is it? Oh, yeah road to the playoffs elite Brandon Marshall because he has 96 catch 97 catch in traffic I think like 91 speed and 72 run blocking and 71 impact blocking so he goes for about 170k or something like that so I would like to pick him up but now we're going into my um, pass and run offense other than just line and tight ends we got Michael Vick a quarterback who I just went over other than Antonio Brown fastest quarterback in but 93 speed 97 throw power, 84 throw accuracy short, 80 throw accuracy medium, 88 throw accuracy deep, but he never misses passes. In le oh, okay, that's a bit of an exaggeration. He never misses passes, like maybe one every other game, or maybe if he's really bad, the most he's ever missed in a game for me is like two passes. But, <clears throat> yeah, and he has 90... <clears throat> Wait, I already said 97 throw power, but when you look at his hidden stats, that's where it gets good. He breaks too many tackles. Like, it needs to be patched. He has 63 strength, which isn't really even that impressive. Like, it's mediocre, but he is unfair when it comes to tackle breaking. And don't ask me why, because he's 6 foot. Where's his weight? I guess it doesn't say, but he's like six foot, like 215 or whatever, Mike Vick, and he breaks every single tackle, so. And he goes for uh, um, sometimes under 40K, so definitely get him if you can. 94 agility, awesome. 92 acceleration. Go down these stats. 97 throw power, 94 throw right, 84 throw right, because we already went over that. 88 elusiveness, 97 ball carrier vision, even though that doesn't matter. Then we have 93 spin move and 96 juke move. So, definitely a beast when it comes to running the game and can definitely do other things as well. Then back up, I got um, Derek Carr. I can just let you look at the stats. I'm not going to call. There we go. They are definitely a good backup. And then we got Johnny down there. And then, my, I love my running backs. Bo Jackson, he would normally be number two. Um, it says he's in my lineup. Oh, yeah, he's a third down back. Um, <clears throat> he would normally be playing um, running back number two. But just for the video's sake, I want to take him out so I can show you how my um, li <coughs> linebackers, running backs, would be without Bo Jackson. So, I've had Ailey Lacey since, I think, early November. No, late November. Since November 24th, and he has not performed bad for me at all 92 speed 93 acceleration 98 trucking 92 ball carrier vision 88 elusiveness i think i might have already said it but 90 agility and he also features 71 catching um 93 jumping and then 98 spin move of course circle button he is going to he has an awesome spin move. And then the juke move at 92 is nothing to laugh at. And he also has 71 catch in traffic and 80 spectacular catch. So definitely a good receiving back as well. He 
can actually catch the football. And then we have Jeremy Hill. I love this card. He's basically just a poor man's Eddie Lacy. So if you <clears throat> if Eddie Lacy gets tired, just a slightly less good version of him will come in and dominate as well. 92 speed, same as Lacy. 90 agility, same as Lacy. Awareness doesn't matter. 93 acceleration, same as Lacy. One less carrying, ball carry vision doesn't matter. But then 14 less elusiveness and 3 less trucking, but nothing substantial other than elusiveness. So, <clears throat> definitely a good budget running back. Then Denard Robinson, I love using this card. I was so happy when his um, Rising Star card came out. I knew I had to get it immediately. 95 speed, 96 agility, 97 acceleration, 96 elusiveness, 88 carrying, 71 trucking. And let me show you guys the throwing stats on this card and the juke move and stuff. 79 throw power, keep that in mind. And I'll show you these real quick. 93 spin move, 96 juke move. But look at the throw accuracy stats. 79 throw power, as I said earlier. 70 throw accuracy short, 69 throw accuracy medium, 68 throw accuracy deep, and 72 throw on the run. He throws dots in halfback in the halfback pass which is in the 49ers playbook if you were wondering it's in iform pro and it's towards the bottom so definitely pick him up and then joe mcknight halfback four just good speed and agility and stuff and he also has 71 strength so he breaks a lot then fullback jj watt i'm pretty sure a lot of people have him at fullback 95 strength 97 trucking 82 speed um enough said and then we go to my wide receivers, Demarius Thomas, 96 catching, 95 speed, 72 looseness, could be better, but still awesome, 93 spectacular catch, 94 release, 89 route running, 95 catching traffic, definitely another really, really solid card. Then we have Mike Wallace on the outside, who I just picked up yesterday and I was just after opening the ultimate bundle and selling everybody except Telvin Smith I ended up with about 140k after buying um, what's his name Clay Matthews after I bought Clay Matthews I ended up with about 140k so I just made 200k yeah I, I don't recommend <laughs> buying that bundle even though it's not even out anymore, so that doesn't really have much point to it. But, yeah, somebody finally put him up for 140k, and I jumped all over it. And, <coughs> I just stuttered right there. 97 speed, 94 catching, 93 elusiveness, 95 spectacular catch. Is that 86 release? I think, yeah, 86 release, 89 route running, and 91 catching traffic. You would expect less catching traffic... And definitely not the same route running as Demarius Thomas. But yes, his catching traffic isn't low at all at 91. And his route running is the same as Demarius Thomas at 89. And then we feature stats like 93 agility. Um, 90 spin move, 95 juke move. So he's definitely a good kick returner. I don't know so much about... Oh, crap. I don't know so much about punt returners, but he's definitely a good... Um, kick returner and then um we got reggie wayne in the slot um kind of wanted to upgrade to his 93 card but all that really happens is just one more catch and one more catch in traffic so i'm um, in no hurry to upgrade 95 catch 91 speed 95 awareness 83 looseness 92 spectacular catch 83 release 90 route running 97 catch in traffic doesn't have good jumping he's definite and he's only six feet tall so he's definitely a slot receiver but he performs really really good there and i've he's definitely kind of like my um old reliable or just reliable um wide receiver because i've had him since october the 23rd and he hasn't <clears throat> that's over two months by the way and he has never done anything bad so yeah, definitely a recommended pickup. He probably goes for around 20 to 30k since his season's veteran card came out. So there's my offense. Uh, I guess I'll show you my wide receiver four. The rest don't really matter. Um, the rest are Cordero Patterson and Muhammad Sanu. But wide receiver four Duke does come on the field sometimes. The 
85 Ruben Randall, who just came out. Just good catch in traffic and catching and release and speed. So he's a good slot receiver, but definitely not as good as Reggie Wayne. So I just put him at wide receiver four. All right, then defense. Devin McCourty, free safety. Oh, crap. <laughs> ah, I can't do anything today. Um, Devin McCourty, free safety. Um, I've actually had him since October the 25th. So, another <clears throat> old um, player on my team who never performs bad. 90 man coverage, 94 zone coverage, 83 player rec, um, 93 speed. Not the best tackling stats, but they're still not that bad. And then his catching is 75, so definitely makes some good catches and stuff. Now I guess I'll show you my linebackers real quick. Tilvin Smith, as you saw, I just pulled him in my pack opening yesterday, or the day before yesterday. I mean. 90 speed, 86 strength, 91 acceleration, 91 tackle, 80 play rec, 86 block shed, 92 pursuit, and 84 zone coverage. And in the first online game I played with him, other than one that I quit because there was too much lag, he had um, an interception. I think it was a pick six, actually. And then he had a fumble recovered for a touchdown. So, has already made a good impression on me. And then we go over to Clay Matthews, middle linebacker. Like I said, just picked him up. Did have Navarro Bowman there. What I'm hoping I can do, I'm trying to work my coins up and get the 95 t um Telvin Smith the 95 Kiko Alonso that just came out today and put him at middle linebacker one and move Clay Matthews over here to take the spot of Thomas Davis cuz he only drops one overall as you can see right there but yeah um I haven't showed you guys his stats yet 92 speed 95 strength 90 tackle 92 play rec 92 block shed 99 pursuit which is awesome. <laughs> I just I said that kind of normal. 99 pursuit, 78 zone coverage, which could be better, but it's definitely not that bad. Then he has 95 strength, 94 acceleration, 64 catching, which isn't spectacular or anything. I mean, Manti Teo has 79, um, as you can see, but still good there. Um, 90 tackle, which could be better, but still not bad. 85 jumping. Um, 95 power move, 92 block shed, of course the 99 pursuit, 92 play rec, and 99 hit power, which is amazing. I can't believe they gave him 99 hit power, but I will definitely take it. And then Thomas Davis, he's been on my team for a while too, since October the 19th, so he's one of the oldest on my team. 89 speed, 89 tackle, and then the amazing 88 zone coverage, and I believe like 90 hit power or something, so he definitely does good, and his catching is near 70 as well, and then my strong safety, Kendrick Lewis, um, <clears throat> another really good card, 85 zone, 83 pursuit, um, 93 hit power, 82 tackle, 78 play rec, 91 speed, 92 acceleration. Just barely decided to put him over Kenny Vaccaro. But then we've also got Kenny Vaccaro, of course, and Goldson as our backups. Then my defensive front, or not really my defensive front, this is my front. I don't know. I don't <clears throat> understand what to call the different sections in this year's mind. But Casey Hayward at cornerback. Picked this dude up for 60k and he goes for like 30k now. So I wasted about 30k coins. But I'm not really even going to say I wasted him because he gets so many picks. It's not fair. 91 speed, 95 acceleration, 84 awareness, 89 agility, 93 man coverage, 95 zone coverage, 80 press, and 82 play rec. He also, of course, has the amazing 82 catching. Then we go over here to um, draw powers who has 91 speed, 92 agility, 90 man coverage, 93 zone coverage, 87 press, and 86 play rec. He has 71 catching, and I believe his hit power is like 70 or something, which is really good for a cornerback. Let me check. 71, so that's good. And then, he I think this is actually the oldest starting player of my team. Yeah, I've had him since... 
that is over three months. Um, and he's been starting on my team the whole entire time. This is good stats. 93 speed, 89 agility, 88 acceleration, 80 catching, 70 tackle, 92 jumping. Let's get on here. 76 pursuit. 84 man, 92 zone, 92 injury, 93 spent stamina, 86 press, and um, what's the hit power? I, I probably went right past it. 74 hit power, so yeah, and then Captain Munnerlin at 4, just good zone coverage at 95. That's why I got him at 4. Jadavian Clowney, or as I like to call him, Mr. Unfair, <laughs> 87 speed, 91 acceleration, 82 tackle with 93 hit power. That's not there though. 95 power move, 83 finesse move, which is a deadly combo, and 67 playwright, which is really bad, but I don't really care. <laughs> Anthony Barr at left end, who I had an outside linebacker, but he just wasn't performing like I would like him to in zone coverage, so I just put him in at left end, and he's a beast. He gets at least two sacks a game. And he He's really, really good. 91 speed, which means... He is easily able to keep up with all the quarterbacks. 78 strength, which could be better, but listen, but look at these stats. 92 acceleration, 89 tackle with, I think, 92 hit power. 82 block shed, 92 power move, and 85 play right. So, yeah, definitely over, <laughs> definitely better than Elvis Doomerville, even though he has 97. And then I just love using Aaron Donald. A defensive tackle, 86 block shed, 91 power move, but the main thing about him is that awesome speed at 83. And then Harry Melton, the defensive tackle too, who does play because I run a 4-3. 75 speed, which is still good, but then 94 power move, 84 block shed, good finesse move, 92 power move, 80 play rec. Um, definitely a good card. And then... Yeah, so that does it. I guess I'll show you my specialist real quick. I've got Denard Robinson and Mike Wallace returning kicks. Um, Denard Robinson returning punts with Joe McKnight backing him up. I think Cordero Patterson's down there. Punter, Mark White King. Kicker, Greg Zerline. Kickoff specialist, Mark White King. Um, Denard Robinson, third down running back. And then backed up by Joe McKnight and Bo Jackson. And then Bushrod at long snapper with that awesome 73 speed. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and favorite novel if you did. Subscribe and become a chapter today. And yeah, so, bye! <laughs>